In this lesson, we're going to learn more about moving and controlling our sprites and events, other ways to trigger actions and behaviors. Let's dive in. This is code.org. Awesome. So for these guys, make sure you are focused because once you click an answer and hit run, your answer is submitted to your teacher. If I'm your teacher, that's me. So just make sure you are focused and let's read through this carefully. Read the code. All right. So when run, set the background color to green. Okay. So when I click run, the background must set to green. Then what happens? Because code always runs in order. Make a new soccer ball sprite at 75, 200. Oh, yeah. So that looks like where we print that soccer ball. Sprite soccer ball begins to spin to the right. Okay. So left. So it must spin this way. Interesting. Oh, but it doesn't move yet. Okay. It begins to move to the east. And what's the east? We'll never eat so it must spin and move this way let's take a look at our options the sprite will just spin no we also have move it will just nope the sprite will spin and move at the same time we'll first spin and then move later well i don't see a stop here right sprite begins sprite begins code or in computers will only do what we tell them so the sprite will spin and move there's no stop and if you're not getting this, make sure to go back, pay attention. You really want to understand this, not just click an answer. But uh, onward. And a video, we can just keep going here. First, let's practice what you learned in the last lesson. Okay, do this, make a sprite. That we got, so I'm going to go over here to sprites and click and make new. Okay, yep, and I'll just drop it right there. Ooh, cool. Set the sprite size. Oh, so we got a new sprite here, right? And of course we can change it up, have fun with that. Set the sprite size. So where would that be? If I go into here, oh, set sprite, right? Now, keep in mind, you have to make this before you set it. So if you're like, uh, but mister, I have this size set. And of course you need it on the whatever you chose. I have the size set, but uh-oh, it needs to go. Oh. underneath the line because it doesn't know what we're talking about now watch if i have this line above it boom it knows which sprite we're talking about because now the computer run sets the background we make the sprite then we set the size we can't set the size before the sprite's even made okay begin any behavior well cool let's head over to behaviors i'll drag this out and click and i need to pick mine since i chose yellow behaviors i'm gonna do jittering i just need to make sure it all clicks in here but da <laughs> Awesome. Onward. All right. Click here to open it. Category. Okay. Timed events. Events make it easier to change what happens over time as your program runs. Use an at blank seconds event to make Sprite begin a new behavior after some time has passed. Yeah. So an event is something that occurs in code. Now, if you don't have this, you should. Right. So this is what we started with and we can test it out. Boom. Right. All right. Add a an at three second event block to your workspace. OK, so I'm just going to head over here. Events and I'll drag this out. Notice we can't click this anywhere. Right. It doesn't snap in. It's on its own because once this occurs, it's going to run its own code. It doesn't automatically run when we click run. It has to wait three seconds. Connect a sprite begin block under the event. So it doesn't connect to anything, but there's something we can connect to it. So let's do a behavior. Sprite begins. Click. Snapped right there. Now at three seconds, our sprite, and I guess we can pick a second behavior. I'm going to say move north. Boom. So at three seconds, sprite bloop moves north. Let's give this a shot. So notice this timer, it automatically jitters, but then at three seconds, this runs. Pretty cool. Onward. Key events. Events make it possible to create a program that are interactive. Use the when blank pressed event block to change the sprite size, position, or rotation. Yep. So when run, it's not really an event, but when we run, when I hit run, right, stuff happens here. Now we're going to use an event when blank pressed. So events, and this is similar to what we just did in the last, right? 
notice when whatever up, notice there's no way I can connect this to anything. And that's because it's its own thing. This isn't going to automatically occur when I hit run. That's why I can't connect it here. There's a different event. There's a different thing I have to do. So when up is pressed, sure. Uh, let's see. When up is pressed, and we can pick. When down is pressed. And then sprite size, position, or rotation. Okay, so I'm going to go to what? Sprites. And I'll change its size. You could do any of these, right? Position, uh, change size by. Ooh. Ooh. So instead of setting it to a single size, I'm going to change it by 10, maybe. And then location, we could, for a location, move the sprite or rotation. Huh. Lots of different stuff. I'm going to go with size, though. Okay. There's our sprite. Change size by 10 when down is pressed. Let's see. So when I click run, nothing. But now... Oh, I increased it. So maybe I should have the up key. Cool. Onward. Ooh, switching behaviors. If you want to switch from one behavior to another, you need to stop the old behavior and begin the new behavior at the same time. You can use a new block to make sprites stop their current behavior. Sprite blank stops. You'll need to connect the be a behavior to this block, such as moving east. Yeah, computers can only do what we tell them. So right now we have some code here. Let me test it out. Oh, yeah. Does all sorts of stuff, right? We make a new. The sprite begins to move east. Okay. So do this. Run the code. Done. Add a behavior to each stops and begins block to make the sprite change from moving east to moving west at two seconds. So notice we have this event here. At two seconds, sprite stops what? So we need to stop moving east. Okay. Well, let me go over. Oh, yep. There we are. And then what do we need to start? Well, moving west. So at two seconds, boom. <laughs> Victory. Opposite behaviors. Some behaviors do opposite things like moving east slash west, growing and shrinking, spinning right, spinning left. If a sprite has two opposite behaviors, it might seem like the sprite isn't doing anything at all. Oh yeah, that's because the computer would try to do both at the same time. Run the code and see what happens at three seconds. Well, let's take a look. We set the background, make this sprite, and we say sprite spin left. All right, so that all happens the second we hit run. Then after three heck seconds, oh, we ask the sprite to spin right. So the computer is going to be doing after three seconds, both spinning right and spinning left. And so it will technically do it, but we're not going to be able to even tell because it's doing it both at the same time. Okay, so... Use the block to stop the old behavior. Okay, so add a sprite stops block under the event. All right, so before we begin this behavior, I'm going to stick my stop here. So behaviors, sprite, stops, and then make sure it clicks in here. After three seconds, we're going to stop spinning left, I guess. So behaviors, spinning, left. And now, once we stop this, once it's done, then let's go ahead and allow our sprite to do this. So this will happen super fast, right? Three seconds stops and changes direction. Yeah, yeah. Qua pow. Onward. Awesome. Events practice. Now, choose from the following. If you're my student, you're doing them all. So I'm just going to be taking a look at last first one with you. If you need help with the other ones, I do have a video for that. Hopefully it's linked or on the side somewhere nearby. So I'll definitely go over these other ones if you need help with them. But for now, let's take a look at Blast Off and move on. Blast Off. This ship is ready to go. Use an at 8 seconds event to make the ship begin moving forward after 8 seconds. Okay. So we need an event down here. At 8 seconds. Clicky. Add 8 seconds event block to your workspace. Connect the sprite begins block under this event. So first, when we hit run, boom, we play a sound, we set the background, we make this, and the sprite begins to wobble. Now, at 8 seconds, notice there's no connection on top of this. That's because this doesn't happen automatically. It only happens once 8 seconds pass, and we connect stuff to it. Give the sprite a behavior to make it blast off. Okay, behavior. Events? Nope, behaviors. 
create, nope, Sprite begins. So click. So at eight seconds, Sprite begins, blast off. Oh, they gave us a hint, move right. So let's see here, events, behaviors again, move right. Now there's no move right. What could they mean? North, south, uh, <laughs> never eat soggy Wheaties. North, east. Wow, that took some thought. Where is the east? Right here. Boom. So now at eight seconds, we got. Quapow. Yeah. Onward. And I'm going to head over to free play now. Now, if you need help with those other parts of the practice or this free play, make sure to check out my other videos. I didn't want to make this video too long. All right. So up oh, and no bonus levels.